up everybody, what's up? Uh, I guess y'all heard about the John Travolta sexual assaults that he, that, they, that people been claiming that there's two John Doe's and I'm gonna say like it's the like, I'm gonna say like this straight off the bat we got, I, I think there's a lot of people that would kinda agree with me on this because it is true in some ways that these masseuses like half of them do have like I'm not saying John Travolta did or he didn't but I will say this but I will say this half of them masseuses do uh, for, what's the term for do have sexual favors for people like you know if you go to Chinatown somewhere like you go to Chinatown get your uh, get a son what happened Chinese hoes or whatever Chinese masseuses and all like it half of them doing that uh, sexual favor bullshit you can't sit there and say now now one of the masseuses ever did that because half the masseuses that are in, like half the masseuses that are in the business are actually doing that, having sexual, like happy, like you ever heard of happy ending? You know what they do when they say happy ending? They give them the hookup. Now, before two masseuses to come out and say, me, uh, he sexual assaulted me in a way he asked me to suck his dick and all this and that. These are two men now saying this now. If these dudes got girlfriends, I ain't trying to pass this if they're gay or not. Because if they're not gay or they're heterosexual, what? Because one thing is, why would you out yourself like it? Oh, John Travolta shook my pee pee. Motherfucker, you better be glad he touched your pee pee. Now think about it, man. I bet that women every day been having wet dreams about John Travolta, but your bitch ass is over there complaining about Kaniki feeling on your booty. Are you there? Oh, I forgot Bob Barino. Bob, 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 Bob Barino. People, dude, scared of Bob Barino grabbed his ass. Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? Bob Barino. Bob Barino. <laughs> but. But it's like this though, ladies and gentlemen, that you got one on saying that he was at a hotel. See, one thing is, this is why I don't believe people when they come out the woodwork and say this shit. Because one thing is, the second John Doe, one of the John Doe's, <laughs> told people, told it to, like, told his lawyer that his he got grabbed all this and that that he got took he got sexual assaulted on the 16th the 16th when which John Travolta left on the 15th so it'd be kind of odd for him to sexual assault you when he left on the 15th and his ass was in New York upstate New York the 16th, so how did either he's got a long dick or this motherfucker's got a teleporter or he got a double ganger or look like a twin something cause there's no way in hell he in New York and your bitch ass is in LA your bitch ass is in LA claiming he touched you or had sexual assault so did you in any way Because it doesn't make no sense. It really does. Like, I really don't get Like, I sit here and I look at us like, look. <laughs> I sit here and I look at us like, this second, one of the guys is already lying. The lawyer's already. The lawyer's already seeing the picture the receipts he's, what, what he's trying to say the lawyer of one of the journals he's really trying to say is 
if a witness say he saw John Travolta checking at the hotel in New York or <coughs> he seen somebody saw John Travolta at a restaurant in upstate New York or there was a receipt or there was a video that he was in to show that he was in New York or any piece of evidence there is to show he was in New York now that not in LA if any of the evidence was there that is bullshit somebody doctor <coughs> doctor excuse me doctorate or anything like I don't think like, I always say people with doctor pictures or videos if like they they would do that I, I know that for a fact because the technology that we got today you can doctor any picture or video but the picture I seen it doesn't look doctor usually you can tell a doctor picture from a real picture and I don't think <laughs> John Travolta was bullshit <clears throat> you say he flew his plane from LA to New York why didn't anybody check the black box on this plane that's one question they sent up there oh he grabbed my booty the 16th of last month but he was in New York and I was in LA he grabbed my booty and ain't nobody checked the black box nobody checked video to see if he was in New York check witnesses anything to back up the claim that he wasn't there or back up this guy's claim saying that he did do it. See, that's poor, poor the detective, the detective work, police work, they go. Poor police work because, poor police work because it seems like, or whatever, uh, it, it's, uh, to me it sounds like it's bad work, police work, because ain't nobody doing nothing. Well, you can say, well, it's really not a crime, but somebody's suing a celebrity. No, for real, though. Like, why would you take out John Travolta? He's not, well, yeah, his name is well known, but think about it. If I was going to sit there and take somebody, uh, say something like, yeah, he'd go for somebody. Like, I ain't saying he ain't got money, but, like, like, for real, though, he's, like, he's really trying to, Lay low from the, lay low from the limelight. But you tag John Travolta because of what? He didn't give you an autograph. You you wanted to be in one of his movies. What you want to go on a date with him? What you must have been some just to be pissed off just to pick him out of the lineup. Out of all the people, out of all the celebrities that's been in the limelight for the last several months, you pick John Travolta just to fuck with. I'm gonna fuck with, I'm gonna fuck with John Travolta because he's not in the radar, and on the radar, and he's not been doing nothing stupid, so I'm gonna just fuck with him. I could've fucked with Lindsay Lohan. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, like, this is, like, for real, though, do you, uh, to me, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe the just the whole molesting, the uh, uh, harassment, sexual harassment, and none of that shit against John Travolta because to me it don't seem right. To me, you don't seem it don't seem right. Like you probably said, why are you taking up for my friend Joe? Why are you taking up for John Travolta? Look, I like his acting. He tripped me out with old dogs with Robin. Uh, I did grow up watching Knuckles Talking 1, 2, and 3. I grew up watching it. I, I did watch Grease. I, oh, I love Welcome Back, Mr. Carter. My mother loves Sunday Night Fever. Come on now. Brother, he's a good actor. He's a good actor. Even though I don't believe in his religion, but he's a good actor. I ain't gonna knock this dude down. If I met him in person, I'm gonna take a picture and post it up on Facebook or something. I ain't gonna sit there. Oh, John Travolta grabbed my booty. He grabbed my booty. He, he 
he said he wanted to keep my booty whatever I ain't gonna go around like that just because he ain't he ain't been in the limelight like Lindsay Lohan or Paris Hilton he might be doing all these movies he's working on something but, you, but for him but for somebody to my to say something like yeah, why ain't y'all just say his wife that would have been Oh, his wife then grab my ass and my wee wee. Maybe she wanted some. But some tell me these guys are only looking for money. That they only want doing this because they broke as a motherfucker and they ain't got nothing else to do but sit up and try to sue a celebrity like John Travolta that's actually keeping himself out of the limelight so when he's not when he's not doing a movie. When actors are not doing the movie, they're trying to keep themselves out of the limelight. There's always going to be some asshole that's going to try to say something, trying to get them in trouble. You can say, oh, this probably publicity is publicity. Look, his damn name is a publicity. He don't need to go outside to shake his ass. Or anything. His name is a publicity. John Travolta makes a new movie. That's it. Everybody know his is making a new move, making a new movie. He don't need to. He don't need to shake his ass on the street corner saying, "Hey, I'm doing a new movie." That name gives it away. That's all the publicity he can get by his name. He don't need to do nothing else in the streets. He just John Travolta to do a new movie. Okay, cool, fine. Well, I'm gonna watch it. But for fuckers like two two masseuses saying he did this, he did that. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Where's your backup? See, it's funny that these motherfuckers can talk that shit behind a lawyer, but they can't back that shit up. They tried this shit with Michael Jackson, and the bitches got caught. Probably said, what bitch? The damn kids, like I said, before Michael Jackson died, like a few years before he died, couple of kids claim came out of the Wilbur saying Michael Jackson molested them. Then they found out that the parents told them to lie, told them to say all this about Michael Jackson, and the damn cases got dropped. Now, this is, is that what that is now? Another case of, oh, I was just lying just to get money out of them, of the boy that cried wolf and shit, because think about it. They ain't got no evidence that, that this motherfucker ever did this. I don't believe a word that these people are saying. He touched me. How do how do we know? What's the handprint? What's the evidence? Where's the residue? Did he smack you on your ass and leave a handprint? Did you grab his wee wee or something? Did you what? What? what where's your proof, man? I'm sitting up here tying the motherfucker sitting up here. He grabbed my ass and you ain't got no proof of it. He said, suck my dick and you ain't got no proof of it. He told you to, but no, show me what you're working with. There was no proof of it. You just can't say that he did this without, something, without having something to back it up. Because to me, you got to prove to me that this actually happened. You can't sit there and say he did this and there's no proof. Because one thing is, without that proof, Yoda, what you just told me was a bullshit story. I think that just, and it's funny, these motherfuckers are trying to get publicity, but they won't say their name. They go by John Doe. How you gonna get good publicity when you don't want nobody to know your name? What publicity is you getting? Only person that's getting publicity is John Travolta, and that's it. That's that's it. Your name ain't out there, no photo. Your damn lawyer's getting more publicity than your bitch ass. That's all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Is this another case of the boy who cried wolf? Because John Travolta, I ain't, I ain't, like for real though, out of. Over the years that this man's been in the movie business, I think this is the first time anybody heard somebody, anybody, any masseuse or anybody heard her say, oh, he touched my ass. He told me to suck your wee-wee. He was sexually harassing me. Like, how 
how do we know, man? It's like for real. If we ain't never heard this before, you probably saying, "Well, maybe because we never heard this before." It's probably because he paid them off. Look, if he paid them off, just to shut the hell up. At least, at least they got hush money. Well, I was hush money. I would say, okay. I don't know my hush money. Okay, let's see here. Money to say be quiet. Money to say here for your pain and suffering. Why did if if he did that? What if it? Then like, cause I still don't get it. Ain't nobody ever came. It's just only two men. Two grown men. Two grown men sit there. Say this man sexual harassed me, sexual assaulted me, and ain't got nothing to back their claim up. One is bullshitting. Say he got this happened on the 16th, but John Travolta was already gone on the 15th. How does that claim make your claim any any clear? His claim is more clear than the muddy ass window on a redneck's trailer. That's what I'm saying. You can... Oh, I, don't, oh, I just don't get it. These motherfuckers are sitting up here. Oh, he can say shit. No, 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 no. You better prove that shit to me. You better have tape. You better have photos. You better have something to prove to me that this man said what he did and did what he said. Because there's no way in hell somebody gonna prove. Ain't like, you can't sit up here and say that I did something and you ain't got bad shit to back it up. You can't claim that I did something if you ain't got proof that I did it. You can get mad and fucked up about it, but people's gonna ask you for that proof. Afro Joe did this. Where you fucking proof at? You ain't got no proof. You really can't shit. You really ain't saying shit. Since these two guys are saying that he did what he did in a sexual way, and there ain't no proof of, proof that he to show that he did, it tells me they lying out their ass just to get some of that money. Which I want with John Travolta to do: bust out in song with Olivia Newton-John singing "Grease." What you want him to do, bust over some Danny uh, Barbarino? What you want this man to do? Get Christiana and say, these are my kids, look who's talking. What you want him to do, chill with Hannah Montana and the damn dog saying, this is my dog named Bo? What you want this man to do? Your claim means shit to me. You saying he touched me in the minority plate and ain't got no proof to back it up. See, uh, you can't trust, you can't believe somebody's word today's society unless you got something to back it up. I back my shit up just like everybody else. People get mad at me because I show my word. I uh, for real. People get mad at me when I show my my evidence. But this is, this is how it is. These people claim something that didn't happen. So, what's next to there to do? The damn lawyer, that damn lawyer can sit there and say, oh, oh, he did. John Travolta wasn't in New York. I don't give a fuck how many people sit there and say he was there. I don't give, give a damn about the videotapes that was shown that he was in New York taking pictures. I don't give a damn if he was on the late show with David Letterman last night. And he on that day he still wasn't there. We didn't know whatever such and such. He's sitting up there and don't wanna give a fuck about like that John Doe's lawyer don't wanna give a fuck about the evidence proving that this man ain't been there on the sixteenth, that he left on the fifteenth. Both of them claims was the sexual harassment or whatever it's bullshit because these motherfuckers ain't got proof to back up they bullshit it's just as well when that white girl 
said that Justin Bieber was that baby. It was Justin Bieber was her baby daddy. That's all it is too. And and, and, and I'm sitting up here constantly thinking every day, every time I hear it. Every time I keep hearing about these damn uh, these damn two guys claiming that just claiming that John Travolta did this, it makes me more madder and it pisses me pisses me off even more because because. We don't know what's really going on. We don't know what happened. These guys really trying to sit, sit there and get some money. When you hear a celebrity, when you hear somebody saying that he molested me or he did this to me, that we got in trouble together, whatever, and they like it, it, it puts things in perspective. Where did this really happen, or was this just another scam so he can get money, or was this a setup for this person to get in trouble, or was it whatever? You just can't sit there and say this really happened, but you ain't got nothing to back up your claim. And that's how it is. You really can't sit there and say this happened. You ain't got nothing to t back up your story. You ain't got nothing to back up your claim. You ain't got nothing to support, to hold your water, to hold your story. You ain't got, it's like a hole, it's like a cup with a hole in it. Just all that water just fell through. I was like, they ain't, you ain't got a cup. Like, these guys ain't got a pot to piss in. Oh, when did it throw it out of with this damn story? I really don't think that he's got a... I don't think these guys got a story where John Travolta did anything because every time I hear that lawyer talk, it pisses me off. It pisses, it pisses me out because he keeps on saying the 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 evidence that's showing that he's innocent that they don't believe in that they don't want or anything Cause that's what he's saying he don't want the evidence to show that he's innocent that he really didn't he really wasn't there or whatever to me like I'm for real though did y'all really hear that John Doe saying well, I don't think a receipt, I don't think a receipt or a picture shows anything. Seems to me that he don't want the, the evidence to show that your damn client is lying or boo and bullshit and full of shit. That he's only doing this for money. And that's all I'm saying. I saw him saying that these guys been lying since day one about John Travolta. That's all it is to it. Maybe, I know Tim, I know there's a couple of celebrities that live around Brentwood that come chills in Nashville. I'm not going to go out and say Tim McGraw grabbed my ass or his old lady grabbed my ass. I ain't going to say John Big and Rich grabbed my booty and trying to hit me in my booty hole and shit like that. No, I don't. Like if I meet them, I meet them. I only met them once. I'm not gonna sit there and, and drag their name through the mud just because I'm a broke ass. No, for real. I'm not gonna do that just because I ain't got money like them. That's kind of fucked up. I know you probably think I said, "Well, for Joe, why are you taking up for people with money than the people without money?" I'm not taking up. For people with money, it just I just can't trust the people who say claim this without anybody looking into it. Like really looking to the story instead of letting the lawyer do all this bullshit saying, Alright, we don't take it every No for real, we need to look into what's really going on instead of letting these fucker two fucks or fucker sit up here claiming that John Travolta did whatever. Because we don't really know the truth. We're just, because right now, this, right, right now, we, we just left in the dark. That's 
that's all that is too. We really don't know what's going on. If the media is going to give us a little small pieces of information, and that's how it is. And this has been that like time. Like, if you if you like what I got to say, just tell me what you think in a video response or a comment. If you don't like what I got to say, move the fuck on. I don't need your bullshit. But follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to me to my channels on uh, Celo Junior Two and Celo Junior Three. If you look up in the corner above this above this video, it says Celo Junior Two or Celo Junior Three, and look to the right of it. Just say subscribe. Subscribe to my channels, please. And, uh, just for real, man. Just tell me what you think about this whole thing. You think that these John Doe's are bullshitting? Or do you think that John Travolta really did it? That's the question. That's the question.